Good evening. As police continue to search for JJ Vallo and Tylee Ryan, they are also looking into several suspicious deaths tied to the missing children's case. The former spouses of the children's mother and her new husband died suspiciously. Our Gretchen Parsons has been providing us updates on the case and joins us now with the latest. Gretchen. Well, Mark, the two people at the center of this case are the children's mother, Lori Vallow, and her new husband, Chad Daybell. As we've reported, Vallow's brother shot and killed her former husband, Charles, in July. Her brother, Alex Cox, then mysteriously died in December. As for Chad Daybell, Lori's husband, his former wife died this past October. Now, authorities never conducted an autopsy, and that decision may make this investigation all the more complicated. When 49-year-old Tammy Daybell was found dead in her bed last October, the Fremont County Sheriff says family members asked the county coroner not to perform an autopsy. And because her death appeared to be natural at the time, the coroner didn't do one. Under Idaho law, if the death is considered to be from natural causes, the coroner can opt not to do an autopsy. The Fremont County Coroner isn't speaking about this case publicly, but Ada County Coroner Dottie Owen says that is unusual unless Tammy was under the care of a physician. What we would do is we would call and speak to the primary care physician, verify that history, review those medical records, and then at that point release that individual so that that primary care physician could sign that death certificate out. At that point, if family had refused an autopsy, we would sit down with this family, explain why we needed to do it, the importance of doing it, um, and then at that point, if we were still met with resistance, we would go ahead and just do it based on jurisdiction. Once Fremont County authorities learned Lori Vallow's brother, Alex Cox, shot and killed her former husband, Charles Vallow, and then Cox died months later, they exhumed Tammy Daybell's body in December and performed an autopsy. Owen says that could complicate the investigation. When someone is buried, they are embalmed, and so anything, the, the entire system is flushed. And so anything that you're going to have as far as the toxicology test is, is gone. Um, you know, one thing that we would do internally is we would look for pieces of tissue, such as liver, that kind of thing, and then send those off for testing. The problem that you're going to have is unless we know what we're testing for and we're not looking for just a standard toxicology panel, it's very difficult to identify. It's been at least eight weeks since Tammy Daybell's body was exhumed and still no results. The Fremont County Sheriff said it could take up to one year. Owen says that could be because they don't know what they're looking for. If we don't know what we're looking for, it, the possibility is endless. Um, people can be poisoned with, with rat poison or it can be some form of a fluid for your vehicle. It could be an antifreeze. It could be there's all kinds of things um, that we've seen come forward in talks. We need to, we would need to have a, somewhere to start. I need to know what we're looking for in order to start searching. We requested that 911 call from the day Tammy Daybell was found dead. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office denied our request, saying it would interfere with the investigation. At this time, Lori Vallow and her husband, Chad Daybell, still aren't facing any criminal charges. They are believed to still be in Hawaii. We've reported Idaho Governor Brad Little he would have to sign off on an extradition order to bring them back. The governor's office told me this afternoon they haven't received any requests for extradition from authorities in Rexburg. Mark. Could be coming soon. All right, Gretchen, yeah. thanks. And by the way, this case is the focus of a story on NBC Dateline coming up at 8 o'clock Friday night right here on Idaho's News Channel 7.